Sunday was my independent, more experimental movie day for me. First up was Visitors by Godfrey Reggio. I saw his movie Coin Scassi when I was in college and it blew my mind, which I'm sure did that with a lot of people. First off, it was a live performance by the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. It was directed by Philip Glass. I'm like, um, yes, I'm going to see this. It was amazing. It was really interesting. It was all done in black and white. And not only that, they also did a Q&A after this. The film itself starts with an image of this lowland gorilla named Triska. There was many parts during the film that uh, when something really affects me, and I'm, it might sound strange to say this, I had goosebumps and my eyes started to water just a little bit. And I Ooh, it, it shook me. I don't know. Something really grabbed me about that scene. He purposefully made it that there was not many cuts in this movie and that we have to slow down because we're so sped up. You know, we live in an accelerated speed and this actually forces us to slow down because that if we were actually slower, we would be more conscious of our surroundings and be more connected to where we are. The thing that Reggio said that really, I think, sums up this movie, it's supposed to inflict you or watermark you and give an impression. And each person is supposed to experience it in a different way. We're supposed to free associate with this movie that it's interpretive. He said the sunset has no meaning, but it can be meaningful. So anyway, I would recommend this film. Very cool. <laughs> This was a strange movie. I really, I thought for a while I liked it a lot, but there was brutality towards women and I didn't really, uh, it made me uncomfortable and maybe that's, maybe it's supposed to. Either way, I thought it was in an interesting film. I thought it had an interesting plot. There were certain parts were definitely funny. Yeah, the ending was a little mm, rough. I'd say overall, it was not my least favorite movie. I did to say the two films that I had issues with as far as not really sure how I felt about them was this and also Skin Deep was also on the fence. There's things that I found valuable about both of them. It wasn't completely where I knew what the director had in mind or what I was supposed to take from it. So there's that. Late at night, one of my meanderings around, I went on the red carpet area and I took this footage. So in a way you can just visualize it. And this is like the best 3D experience you'd have if you were standing right there. And let's look at the footage right now. I stood there probably for about 10 minutes. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs>